notice. That's it. I said half an hour. Out now. Out. Finally, he emerges. What? I remember the days you used to be up before everyone, Tom, running about the house, out in the garden, messing about. Nowadays, we don't see you before nine. So? I like the new you. Leave him alone, Derek. I just said I like the new Tom. Or was rough an hour ago. I don't want to see that, Tom. Haven't you got a better top than that? No. Otis! Let me get you a new one. We've had this discussion, Mum. Well, I'm sorry, but he looks like Oliver Twist. Who's that? Just this boy who stuffed his face a bit like you're doing now. You won't be a hit with the ladies dressed like a tramp anyway. You'd be surprised how much some new threads can turn a girl's head, Tom, darling. Can I be excused? How about this? It's good for smart or casual. Just try it on, Tom. Can't we go back to the sports shop? No. And the sports shop discussion is now officially over, Tom. But... Just try it on, Tom. Hello, Debbie. Oh, hi. Are you waiting for your boyfriend? Hey, hey, hey! Here's my baby! Tom, what are you doing over there? What are you doing, boy? Just looking. At the lights? Hmm. You still hankering after that Batman shade, no? No. Come over here, you Egypt. Come and speak to the girl. Dad. So, girls, what do we have planned for this evening? <laughs> <laughs> it's really none of our business, Derek. Oh, your brother's got a plastic chicken from the chicken shack. What's that? Oh, there's 12 chickens to collect them, and you've got them all you send off for some kind of T-shirt. Uh, can I keep it? Oh, how sweet of you. That's Harry Honka. Your brother's cool. Mm. Mm. Say something, Tom. Don't be rude. Tom, how hard can it be? I think Tom needs a little talk. Huh? What did he do? He's growing up, Derek. I know. He's been very grouchy lately. Well, he's at that age. He's spending a lot of time in the bedroom. Oh. Well, what do I say? Just explain to him that the way he's feeling is normal for a boy his age. He's on the verge of becoming a man. You're on the verge of becoming a man. Don't quote me, Derek. It has to be from you. No, no, that's good, though. What else? Just explain that it's normal for a boy his age to have mood swings. Mood swings, of course. Derek, it's got to come from you. Why? You're his father, that's why. But you're the one who knows what to say. Great. You're the breadwinner, so you're excused of anything that might resemble parenting. Don't use that word. Look at this place. It's the same table we had when we got married. Well, get your mum to buy you a new one. But what are you doing about it? I'm building you a coffee table. What, for four years? I've told you I'm waiting for the special varnish. Otis, go and play somewhere else. Just sod off, all right? What's the problem? I'm going to smash his face in. Tom, it's half past two. Get out of bed so I can wash your covers. Otis, your father wants you in the shed. Come on, Tom. Hey, wee man. Let's see what you make it of that. You know, there are some fabulous kitchen ideas in this supplement. Not now, Mum, please. I've just seen them, and I thought you might want to look. We don't have the money for a new kitchen. Had you bed off the car? Mum, no lecture, please. Life has a certain vibrancy when you're not struggling from one bill to the next. <gasps> what about talking dirty on the phone? How vibrant is that? It's easy and it pays well. Yes, well, so do... You'd be a natural, dear. How dare you? You said Derek loves it when... I never you... said that. It was all a joke. I'm sorry. How's Derek getting on with the coffee table? This is music, Otis, my boy. Ah, I remember picking your mum up in an old Cortina, driving her down the disco. Often as not, I'd catch some boy eyeing her up and I'd have to punch his lights out. 
Then it was back to the real action. Have you got any fags? Got any beer? No. Where's your brother? That's it! Great stop! Look down the shop for us, there's a good lad. This is gorgeous. Oh, don't even go there. He's like so boring. And you've got a boyfriend anyway. No, I ain't. He's like, hello, better tell the spotty kid then. He ain't my boyfriend. Who's that girl he hangs with anyway? She's like, Rose. You got a girlfriend? Oh, I can get you some facts. Where? Off my dad. Go on then. He's gorgeous. Lovely lips. You just been the shot. Go back and get me ten fags. Tell mum about the two Ronnies. What's going on? Nothing. Where's he going? The shop. Uh, you're um, not so happy these days. Mm. Everything okay? Yeah. I've got some uh, literature for you that should help you understand things. Sorry about that. That's okay. How good is the money, exactly? Do you want one? I'm trying to give up. Yeah, like, all right. I'm like, trying to give up for a year. <laughs> Couldn't you get any B&H? It's really so easy. Mum, it's just this sex and family thing. It's a bit weird. Yeah. Hello? What's your name? I'm glad you rang me. I've just finished the washing up. Um, in the nude. Almost in the nude. Wearing just my underwear. And now it's all wet. Dripping. That's it, Otis. You've got it. This is my house. Thanks for the bags. Yeah. Your brother is like so wicked. Yeah. I just love to just like give him a cuddle. Yeah. boys in bed? Yes, and I'm out to Mum's. I uh, spoke to Tom earlier. You did? Yeah, we uh, talked out there pretty much man to man. So what was said? About, you know, verge of man. What exactly? Well, oh yeah, I thought Tom was being very perceptive at the time, but uh, in retrospect perhaps he was just being dim. He was? Hey look. I can't talk, Mum's waiting. Hello? What's your name? James. James? Captain James Babbage. A captain? What do you captain? A spaceship. Tom? I'm backing Britain like a salmon swimming upstream through hot dollops of treacle. This race is hot wiring my glove compartment in a frenzy of sheer naked patriotism. Let's open the sunroof of television to discover why Danny Capozzi is such a hot shot.
Again. Relax, honey. Can you breathe in? I doubt it. We gotta get this off before I'll forget. Your father gets home. What in God's socks is going on in here? Step aside, people, as once again I will attempt to strike my son free from his self-inflicted sins. Drum. He doesn't have any friends, Bob. Well, <laughs> that's no surprise, Lulu. The kid brings it upon himself. What about church last Sunday <laughs> when it destroyed the confession box? Remember that? Jesus! It was like squeezing the cow into a tin can. It ain't gonna happen, Lulu. I can't afford to pay for his clumsiness anymore. At this rate, how will I ever be able to open my bowl and belt? <laughs> Diner. <laughs> Nobody loves me. Everybody hates me. It's gone away. I can pack more cookies in my cave. <sighs> if they don't love me for the way I am, I'm just gonna run away. <sighs> Monster. I'll show you a real monster, mister. Nasty man. I'm so sorry, sir. I really didn't mean to. Hey, you monstrous meatball. Just sign right here. I'm gonna make you the biggest star that's ever hit Jollywood. <laughs> meatball. I like that. Lock your fridges. Hide your groceries. Pack up your picnics and panic. It's Meatball Man with the incredible power and ability to look like meat. Ah! <laughs> Run, son! Save yourself! Save you! Save you! Save you! Save Beautiful baby. Oh, beautiful. Hey, 
Did you catch your picture on the cover of Time magazine? Well, uh, Meatball Man's picture? Yours? Meatball Man's? Ah, uh, Tomato Tomato, what's the difference? But the article didn't even mention my name. Now, look here, you wise ass. I've given you fame, a small fortune, and all the cookies you can eat. What more do you want? Now, get out of my sight! You ungrateful crap! <laughs> Bubble butt! <laughs> Bubble butt! Bubble butt! I like that. <laughs> Warner, fetch me five of the dumpiest terriers you can find pronto! <laughs> Who needs that loud mouth midget? As long as I still got my fan. <laughs> Come here, you guys. Thanks for stopping by. They don't love me. They just love Meatball Man. What's the point in living? I'd be happier in cookie heaven. Cookie heaven. Cookie heaven. Just one more. What you've done to our house is destroyed. We're ruined. We're gonna put that lardy ass of yours to good use. This time, son, I mean business. Max, take these two crates of meatballs out to Vinny. You gotta be kidding. He's finished the last batch already. Ah. One hot meteor meatball shower for table number six. Keep them rolling! And the long arm of the law snapped like a tadpole's backbone. Let's burn rubber and career like road hungry maniacs into the walls that imprison the cellmate.
Thank you. 